back for more! This time Barton is playing as the Allies! He's red. Guess who it is? It's Dev M! Would you believe it? Yes, I actually do! He's playing as the bear like this time. Straight away going for this bear among the quarters. Uh, unlike Barton in the last game, who waited for the third Pioneer Squad before he started building that. Uh, which meant sleepy times for Barton. Uh, really quick game, fast and furious. It was over in a jiffy, in a flash. Uh, in a flash jiffy, wow, it's even faster than a normal jiffy or a flash. That's crazy speeds. Uh, so, I mentioned actually last game uh, that DevM kind of looks like Alex the Kid. Now, if some of you don't remember, maybe I can boast your memory. So let's do that very quickly. Any reason to just, in fact, I can't actually do too much of this, can I? I should be alright, because copyright, you know, copyright's so bad and all. Uh, such a huge problem in the industry right now. Uh, everyone's like, oh, you need to have copyright to do stuff. Well, unfortunately, if you Google something and you say, oh, look, a cool image, I want to use that. It doesn't display copyright information, so we need to develop either a system which will allow you to see if you can use something or not, or we need to somewhat reform copyright, uh, which is what I would say. Um, Jeep is out. Barton, quite the copycat. He'll, he'll, he'll probably get grenades as well, but <laughs> let's see if that comes true. Um, we're just driving by here again. We're not doing too well on stopping them from capping this point. But we did get her here a lot earlier as well, so in fact, we're gonna we're gonna annoy them at this spot. It isn't probably the best spot. We got Volks out nice and early. You can see the drastic change of the battlefield. Last game we saw the Volks come out very late. This time they come in early, and look at the difference it makes against this Jeep. Uh, we we can't really do too much against this apart from back away, and the damage is negligible. We got a bike out here as well from Dev M, which I think is a, a superb. Uh, sort of idea because I think Dev M is going to play a bike much better than Barnett is going to play a Jeep. So we'll see how that happens. It doesn't help that the Jeep is facing the completely indirect angle. Folks, uh, they they were contemplating getting in the house, but no, the riflemen end up getting in there uh, themselves. So that that didn't quite work out for Dev M. No matter, we can just walk away. Again, the Jeep is coming round here. Uh, some damage inflicted on the Pioneers, but not too much. Uh, getting it as close as possible. But now the bike and the Volk Squad comes in, hitting it from the side. And take a lot of damage. Now it has to back away and get repaired. That's what the engineers are here for. They're going to do that. Uh, the middle victory point has been captured by Dev M. Uh, the northern side is also going over him. The south side is nobody decided to get that just yet. Uh, Barton, though, uh, I guess he's. Fighting it out in the middle instead of the northern side. I'm not sure, again, if this is the right thing to do. You know, there's sometimes it's not just like it isn't the right thing or the wrong thing. Uh, it's something like a grey arrow. I think this just might be a very bad idea altogether to start attacking where the MG is. <laughs> but now he knows it's there at least. There's always going to be an MG in the middle. I think that's a common thing that they do on this map. Let's just... They always situate one MG somewhere in the centre. It closes off. It's really, really slim and easy to turn around to the left-hand side. Look at it already firing on this Wagman squad. Uh, Dev M easily able to respond to this in time. We've got this Jeep coming around from the side, but the bike is able to protect it. The Volk squad as well. This Volk and bike combination is just here to protect that machine gun at all times. He's going to be the one that's holding one of the flanks, either this side or the middle. It doesn't matter. So. Barton's going to have to approach this from more angles. He's got to come down here. Uh, no mines down here just yet. That's what. That's like the third protection. Your third thing that you do. You get an MG to protect one flank. You've got Volks protecting another. And with a bike as well. And then you've got mines protecting another. So all these things just sort of create a perfect sort of play for there. Uh, we've got the bike in a sly bit of trouble for Dev M. He's ventured into dangerous territories. The Volks are here to back them up. Nice protection, and the MG follows as well. Dev M being so aggressive is able to set up just in time, but the bike goes down. The pioneers are here. Mm, they might be able to get some sandwiches out of this one. Uh, it looks, looks salvageable. 
but they're gonna go for the fuel first of all. Uh, the flamethrowers are up, the Volks are in front. Protecting that machine gun is key and vital, but notice that nothing is actually being uh, worked on up here. That's that's why Barton's up here. Uh, he's taking that opportunity for Dev M uh, to be out of this area, just to take areas where he isn't. Like, you can, dude, you can have your army situated here and defending that one point. I'm just going to take everything else you have, man. Uh, look how adventurous this is. Uh, the bike, uh, the Jeep rather, is up here. The double riflemen. In fact, our riflemen are, are not in a healthy condition, and I think they might receive some focus fire from these Volk squad. That's, that's, that's good moving there from Barton, moving up uh, out of the way, and then hopefully he's going to hit that retreat button and take a much safer path back to base. Uh, the Volks, though, are giving chase. They're not going to let up. They're trying to take out the engineer squad or whatever they can. The engineers were certainly the closest. Uh, it's not going to happen, though. Still, I think Barton actually was managing to... In fact, no, actually, this area here got... Wow. Okay, so both players have kind of mirror imaged each of us here. Uh, so... Ah! I missed the mine! Ah! 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 I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Fucking players, stop it! Stop doing it! Stop running into mines every freaking time I move away! Oh, I need Company of Heroes 2 to do a mine camp. So I don't have to look at that. Oh, that's, oh, it angers me so much. So, so much. Right, we got flamethrower on flamethrower action. The pioneers uh, are looking like they're on the losing end of this one. Brave engineers able to fight this one through, but the Volks are here to clean up the situation. And now Barter needs to get out of here himself. Um, so in fact, he's running in this direction. Uh, he really needs a triage center. Do we have a triage? No, we don't have a triage. We had a supply center uh, on the way. But triage center would be really good for the six-man squad with almost on 50% life. Uh, this squad as well, four guys. Uh, we're not doing too well. We're about to lose a squad over here as well. Oh, it's so close to Volks. A grenade gets thrown. Barton has decided to be the copycat ninja. He is almost identically, just a bit of difference there, but uh, the same sort of play, that jeep and the grenades, but will it work out for him? Grenades ultimately depend on your opponent not being aware. Just standing on grenades, really. Or you have, like, amazing foresight and can predict where that grenade is going to be thrown. Uh, MP40s, interestingly, are up. The sniper MG combo is down. And the riflemen are plopping on the ground. Uh, not many survivors for this squad at all. Dev M. Just such a huge appetite for riflemen. Uh, devouring them at every opportunity. Uh, Four-man Volk squads here. Heavy cover for everybody! Woo! Uh, that's going to be an interesting fight. Uh, but I just want to catch these Volks down here. Yeah, okay, okay, back up to here. Wonderful. Right, this is a really long fight. Uh, everyone in max range, everyone in heavy cover. It's just how it goes, it's how it works. And in the meantime, I can hear firing in the distance, which means... What's going on over here? Uh, Bob, Bob Wire is down! Oh, wow, okay, so... As if movement wasn't restricted enough in the central area. Uh, it's just got even worse. But we can still move through this house and, like, exit through this door over here. Not gonna happen, though. Oh, close range sniper to the face. Oh, oh it's so sexual. Uh, the MP40 is also firing from this uh, side of the building. Oh, and a Panzerfaust as well. This guy goes flying into the air. Notice that these windows though, there's only two windows to fire out of, so the MP40s and the sniper are pretty cool to sit there. Uh, wow, the, the Pioneers. Limited health. They're gonna, they're still gonna hop in the building though and fire some flames. Uh, how effective is this gonna be? Wow, zombies! Zombies, the haystack is also going down, but that's not actually too good because the flamethrower is much more effective when your enemies are in heavy cover. Uh, we got MG set down here again from Dev M, really overly aggressive, making sure that Barton cannot capture this point. Uh, that's really his only goal, it seems. Uh, not just to hold the middle, like every other Axis player has done so far. Uh, but he's just gone right up into his opponent's base and just going to try and hold that area down. And he's, he's pretty comfortable to do so as well. He's not done so badly as to lose a lot of units. He's been playing very well, making sure he's in cover. Fighting the battles he can. There goes a grenade. Uh, looks like there were two casualties there. No, just one. One of them was a rifleman. Uh, shame on him for the friendly fire. 
But our Volk squad is now going to chase down these two rifleman squads. So vulnerable on retreat. Look at them. They are dying. And we are just going to be alive with these two squads. Great. Uh, but still, it's going to take us some time for them to reinforce and get back out of the action. The MG was not down and set up in time for these two rifleman squads. The sniper is offering his assistance. The MP40s are offering their assistance as well. Uh, chasing them down. Freeman squad, this isn't looking too good. The Pack 38. Wow, that's also here. Uh, grenades down. That just gets the MG squad. Uh, but only one survivor there. He is able to continue firing. Uh, whilst the riflemen try and capture this computer point. They do manage to get it, but they've been cut off from these areas already. They're not gaining anything. Uh, so, not so good for them to do that. The Grenadiers are out here as well. I see that we have a Comcraft Center just been built. Uh, so, I, I predict we're going to get some infantry veterancy ever so slightly. And a short period of time, that's going to be wonderful for him. But Dev M, um, I mean, Barton, he's just... Going into the field, really, really injured, not even fully reinforced. Um, it's not going to work against these squads, which do have full health. Really good as well. Uh, fine play from Devon so far. There goes a squad. A grenade, not so successful, taking out Grenadier. And you can see that losing that squad, we should have just reinforced it full. We needed a triage center as well. Just, oh, man, painful to watch, a painful experience. This is almost like... Uh, the first game in the reverse, Dev M doing very well yet again. My man, Dev M, is a champion amongst champions, though. A really fine player. He admittedly hasn't played much recently uh, for whatever reasons. He's young, that could be why. He's got school and stuff to do like that, all that jazz. Uh, but still, the amount of time that he puts into the game is just not linear to the skill he has. It's really, you know, not a... Not a linear curve, a big, awesome, gigantic skyrocket uh, waveform. It's so brilliant. Uh, he has decided to bring some guys back and finally reinforce them and get them all healed up with the vet one as well. Uh, passive regenerative abilities, yay! Our sniper is coupled off with the grenadiers. Uh, they're being chased down. No, Barden's decided to give away that chase. I uh, doesn't want to follow them anymore. He's got business plans elsewhere. He has to find out what's going off in the middle and destroy the Volks. Uh, 11 kills for the Volks and a light vehicle kill. That was that Jeep earlier, the Panzerfaust. Uh, this is, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing some more barbed wire and, and sandbags go down from Dev M. He's got plenty of time. He's got all the time in the world. He is winning this. Look at the victory points. They have so... Badly been drained from Barton. He's only got 180 left. Uh, threatening yet again another free cap as well. Uh, the snipers are firing down on the south side of the map. Get it. 22 kills. It's only 13 minutes in the game. That's that's a lot. we got a motor pool coming down. I had a triage center a long time ago. Or maybe some bars. Yeah, we've got a stew tank to deal with as well now. Uh, kicking up all the grave stones. He didn't like that as well. Whatever that was, it's gone. I didn't want to see that anymore. It sickens me. It's a disgrace. Ugh, mines are going down as well from DevM. All over the place. Making it even harder for Barton to do absolutely anything. Uh, he's trying his best to attack this, but this looks like a failure. So we are going to lose our flamethrower will it explode does it blend yep it's not we were wrong good game well played barton did not put up as much of a fight as i wanted him to which is a shame regardless dev m goes through to the finals to face symbiosis and that is something everybody's going to look forward to in a best of five join me then for more special times I'll see you.